What's up guys, Vipref V here, and today it is part two of the Source 2 6S FPV Racing Frame uh, build that we're doing. And um, this is pretty much gonna be all the components actually installing the Crossfire receiver we have here, the TBS Unified Pro Race 2 as well, which I already have in a 3D printed mount just for save some time. And then we have the um, Menace, I believe, MMCX antenna, and they also have a buzzer here as well. Um, but if you guys are just uh, tuning in, if you want to check out part one, I'll leave a link to that down in the video description. Uh, but if you just came here to just check out how to wire up your um, Strix uh, binary F10 flight controller, this will help you out as well. Um, so first things first, just wanted to point out that the ESC we're using on this one is the F55A uh, Pro from T-Motor. Um, it is a 10-pin harness, and then the harness for the Helio is actually, I believe, an 8-pin. So I actually did have to take the pins out and um, wire it correctly, and I'll leave a little thing on the video right now where you can see the different types of um, pin layouts on the F55A Pro and also the Strix Binary F10. So let's go ahead and get into setting this all up. I already actually just put the camera on. This is two screws you just put on to the front on these little um, like rubberized grommets, I guess you can call it. And this is the uh, Foxier Predator V2. Uh, I'll leave a link down below to the V3 because I believe that it's a little bit of a camera. I just had this one laying around and uh, I just didn't feel like spending the money on another camera right now. but. Let's go ahead and um, zoom in, and we can go ahead and start uh, wiring this thing up. All right, we're zoomed in here, and uh, so I already kind of already pre-soldered where we're going to be soldering to today. We have the TX3 and RX3 that's going to be used for the crossfire receiver, and then also we have um, this is the ground and the five volt. This is like a, a rail where you can mul put multiple things on it that take five volts, and that's how we're going to be going ahead and powering up. The, um, the Unify, I believe. No, actually we're going to be using that on the, we on the camera, because these do not, when you connect these up, these are not powered by USB. I believe this 5 volt over here is powered by USB. So we want our receiver on when we are setting everything up in Pegasus. And then we're going to be using these for right here for the buzzer. And then this one right here, this is um, a pin right here. This is actually VBAT. So we're going to wire up our Unify's direct power to that one, and then we have ground right there, and then I believe that's a video, I believe that's video out, uh, that's video in, so that's from the cap to the camera, and then we have video out and a smart audio over here. So let's go ahead and start wire. I'm going to wire the camera up first since that is pretty much almost ready to go. So let's go ahead and get this going. Where is my tweezers or something to use to, um, I guess I can use this. I'm not sure where my thing is. Let's say okay here. So we got our ground wire here. I wanted to kind of, I really hate these. I can't stand that. Let me find something else. I can find. Oh, there they are. All right, I'm back. I found my little needle nose pliers. I like using these things to solder with. It's a little more comfortable. So I'm gonna move this around. See if I can get to where I can solder it well. All right, let's go ahead and solder that last this uh part right here. This is a pain in the butt because it's like right in the corner. So let's do that. All right, I got it. That looks good. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do the video in, which is on this side too. And that's this one right here. without bridging any pads. 
There we go. And that's that one. So hopefully you can see that. So I got the ground there. Then we have the video in to the OSD on the flight controller. And then we have 5 volts. So, and this camera does go all the way up, I believe, to like 30 volts. But usually cameras usually like 5 volts. So we're going to use 5 volts. And that's right there. I'm going to cut my camera a little bit. You can see that. All right. That's good. And I burnt a little spot in the camera right there, didn't I? Oh well. No big deal. Anyway, small plastic burning. That's why you can be careful with the soldering and trying to reach over in those little spots, you know? Probably would have been probably better just to have the camera off and then solder these on, but whatever. And then we're going to go ahead and do the buzzer. So the buzzer is going to go on these two top ones. And you just want to make sure you have your plus and your minus correct. And the top one is minus. them on there. And then this one too. This is the plus. Perfect. All right, and we'll just kind of bend those around. I'll probably tuck that down there somewhere. But right now I just want it kind of hanging around for right now. Just so I know later I can zip tie it or do whatever I want to it. Next, we're going to go ahead and move these out of the way. And we're going to do the VTX. And these wires are really long on the VTX. So let me go ahead and shorten those up. Because this is going to get mounted most likely like um, this way. And then we're going to have these kind of go underneath. So let me go ahead and shorten these wires up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I am back and I shortened up the wires and pre tinned them. So everything's pretty much getting wired right up here. So I'm just going to kind of leave that right there. And then we're just going to kind of just come down with it like so. So let me rotate this so I can get it with my soldering iron. And the first one we're going to be using the VBAT wire, which is right here. Alrighty, let me just double check, make sure it's on there good. Yep, perfect. I did put some flux on this this time, so it's not so difficult to solder to. Ground will go right there. All right, smart audio, which is the white wire, or it could be whatever wire you put for a smart audio. Just make sure you're doing it. It is going to go to the SA. All right, and then we have our video out. It should go right there. Perfect. All right, so that is wired up and pretty much done. So we're gonna kind of fold that around. And I did notice that I did mess up a little bit. I wired the five volt to the camera right there and I cut the wire too short. So now I'm gonna have to use my receiver here, whatever. I'm not gonna worry about it. So now we have the crossfire receiver. Now, if you're using like a FreeSky receiver, you're gonna use the Espos pad here, right there. So. That's the only difference. Um, I'm using two wires extra. So I'm using a receive port and a transmit. You'll just be using an S-Bus, so I guess you'd have three wires. 
So you have power, ground, and then your S bus. I have two extra because I'm using crossfire, but we're going to be running crossfire right over here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to, I'm kind of pretty sure I'm going to mount this on top of the flight control, up top of here, like so. Probably with some zip tie around it or something. So I'm going to go ahead and just shorten these wires up real quick, and then I'll be back on the line with you. Back, shorten the wires up. That didn't take very long at all. And we're going to go ahead and solder this thing up. So we're going to do ground to ground, positive to positive. So this is the ground right here. And these pads are kind of weird. They're really long. So depending on how many things you're going to be connecting, extra things, I'm just going to go ahead and go long ways with it. Once I can figure it out. That's good. And then we have our ground right here. We I mean, have our power. Which will go right there. I probably can't see with my hands there. Let me fix my... There we go. So let's do that. Plus it's easier for me anyway. All right. And then we have channel one and channel two, which is, the yellow is gonna be channel one, so that's gonna go to a receive pin. I always call it channel one, channel two, I think they changed the name of it. Uh, all right, yeah, that's gonna go right there. And this one's gonna go right here. That's a big blob of solder on it for some reason. All right, looks good. So that is pretty much all the wiring done. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all together and uh, figure out how I'm gonna be doing this thing. So, and if you notice too, I'm using this new, not new, new, Crossfire race receiver, I mean uh, antenna. I'm gonna try it out. I'm not sure how I'm gonna mount it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna mount it through the back like they recommend, kind of like up in the air, or if I'm just gonna experiment and just put it under the arm and put some double-sided tape with a zip tie around it and see how much range I get. Because this is just gonna be a racing quad. I'm not gonna be going very far. So I really don't see me really needing to um, mount it correctly, only unless it's, you know, really reduced range already. And maybe it's something I want to do. But I'm going to go ahead and get some bolts for the um, screws for the flight controller. And where is my... There it is. That little socket here. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on. Screw these down. And when you're tightening these up, um, you don't want to make them too tight. You pretty much just want to see a little tiny bit of squish with that um, soft mount. And what I usually do is I'll I'll jiggle the flight controller around to see how much you know how much I can move it. And if you can move it a little tiny bit, that's good. But if you can't move it at all, and you're using some decent force or a little force. Don't want you ripping it out of the freaking stack. But like right now, right now that's actually good, but I'm gonna give it a little bit more. So you really don't need to really do it that much. See now it's jiggle a little bit, that's perfect. So now that's done, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top. Hopefully I have enough room to fit a little bolt on top too. So I'll put some bolts on top of that. And then that's done. And then I'm going to use a little bit of tape. Kind of go around it like so, most likely. And probably like that. And then just kind of come out the back like so. 
maybe. I have to figure out how to get the slack off of this thing. Well, let me I'll just give it a little tug. Yeah, that'll work. And then the buzzer, I usually do that last. I'll shove it somewhere and be done with it. So let me go ahead and um, tidy everything up, and then uh, we'll see what the finished quad looks like. All right, it's all finished and completed. Source 2 frame with the 1750 KV motors from Brother Hobby. Got some nice purple props. I probably won't be using these specific props since these ones are mostly for freestyle, but I probably will be using some type of purple prop on it. So let me go ahead and show you what I did here. As I mounted the crossfire receiver right on the top with the zip tie right here, and then I routed the guy right here, and then that little antenna that I wanted to try out to see how it does, it kind of just zip tied it to the same one that this is on, and then stuck it on top and zip tied it to the antenna, so it's sticking up like so. And then um, I will need to put a battery strap still in here, which I forgot to put that in there right now, but. It will go in right through the front, right there, and then the battery will hang on the bottom. So let's go ahead and do a weight, uh, be off by a couple gram, grams just because I need to put a battery strap on it. So we're in grams. It's at 305 grams, so it's not the lightest racing quad like I, I didn't think it would be. Yeah, I'm using a little heavier 2207 motors. and. Um, so about 305 to 307, probably with the battery strap on it. So not bad. I think this is definitely going to be really fast. So we'll do a maiden flight here real soon and see how this thing flies. And um, if you're interested in how to set up your binary F10 um, flight controller, I do have videos on that and how to set all that stuff up in Pegasus. And I'll leave those down in the description as well. So I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I will probably be doing one more video on this. Um, just wanted to kind of probably go over safety precautions before you put a battery on it and everything else. So look forward to that in the next video. And I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.